men's basketball team traveled to Anaheim for the first round of the NCAA tournament. True Blue reporter Jerem Jordan gives us the update. 1993 was the last time BYU won an NCAA tournament game, and that was against SMU. This year, the Cougars hoped they could hold off the Aggies of Texas A&M. For the second year in a row, BYU draws the eight and takes off a takes on a tough nine. Josh Carter in the early going gets the first bucket of the game, three nothing with less than a minute into the ball game. Texas A&M would go up 11 nothing. BYU's first field goal, a Lee Kamard slam. It's 11-2 with 14 left in the first. BYU would catch up though. Jimmer Fredette, nice pistol Pete esque move right there. It cut it to three with two and a half to go. Jimmer Fredette played one of his best games of the season. Nice fake to JT. Pops to three. BYU trailed by three at the half. Second half, BYU continues its run. Trent Playstead in the post. Started to get tough. Would turn around, be fouled on this and one. Go to the free throw line. BYU with a bit of a roll down only by one at that point. Take another look at it. Trent Playstead, first team all Mountain West Conference, came to play in the early goings of the second half, but would BYU get enough? Lee Kamard from downtown. Cougars with the lead. There were six ties and ten lead changes in the game. Chris Collinsworth, nice feet underneath, slam dunk by Trent Playstead. He would go to the line and BYU back and forth with the Texas A&M Aggies, who are ranked as high as ninth this season, started 15-1, and one, partly due to Dominique Kirk from downtown. He had two threes on the day, one of which was right there. Jimmer Fredette down by six, cuts it to three with 59.5, but BYU needed a defensive stop, and would they get it? 12 on the shot, the Cougars trying to play some tough D, hold on, try and maybe tie it up at the other end on offense. But Dominique Kirk would get open once again for his second splash of the game, and that would do it. It's a six-point game, and just too much. The Cougars could not come up with anything. They lose it 67-62 to for the second year in a row as the eighth seed. BYU frustrated yet again by a first-round loss. Yeah, we definitely can. I mean, uh, obviously it's a great experience to never be able to get into the NCAA tournament. You know, it's been two years in a row, and uh, we lost first round both years. And, you know, next year we just got to look forward, work hard in the offseason, come back and try to be able to get a victory in this tournament. So, um, He's proud of us for the good things that we did accomplish. And, uh, you know, he loves us. He really cares about us as a team, and, and he feels bad that the, the seniors that are – that are going to be gone next year won't be here to to start up and do it all over again and, and to try and make a run. And but you know he's he's excited to to have the guys back that he does and and try and do big things again next year. Thanks, Yeah, you know, I'm happy. I'm glad to be a part of this program and team. And we've had a great year. And I'm just you know we've made a lot of close uh, friends. And um, so you know I'm trying to think of the positives right now. And and we've done some things at BYU haven't been done in a long time. And. Uh, and so we're trying to think about that and uh, use, and these young guys can use this for motivation next year. Thanks, Jerem. The Cougars finished the season with the second best overall record in program history.